Welcome back. I am here with Sharon Childs. This is amazing. You have been an employee with Michigan Blood for 43 years. 43 years. And get this, I see here you've collected 204,589 total units of blood since you started here in Traverse City in 1994. Now this this wasn't the only you weren't always here in Traverse City. Kind of explain what your career was like with sure. Michigan Blood. I, I've worked um, all over the state for Michigan Blood. I worked in the Bay County area, okay. in the Bay City Saginaw Midland area for 25 years, okay. and then Munson asked us to be the blood provider up here in 1994. Wow. And I was asked to come up and help start the program here. So I've been here ever since. Very cool. And you were saying that you, you love working with youth. Mm -hmm. So it's not just working with Michigan Blood, you also bring this into the classroom. Kind of explain what you did with that. Sure. Over the years, um, we look to the youth of our community as the future of our, our um, blood program. And we wanted to encourage them to make good lifestyle choices. Right. And so I would go into science classes and educate the kids about blood. I'd take an actual a pint of blood. Mm -hmm. And I did blood typing um, when I went into the classroom. Some of the greatest thrills in my career have been through the children that yeah. I have dealt with. Uh, I used to say to the little kids um, when I would teach like third grade, go home and ask your parents if, right. they, if they'll be a blood donor. And I returned one day from a school, and the staff said, Sharon, there's a little boy that wants mm -hmm. to talk to you. And I went up front, and here he had gone home, told his mom the story, and as soon as she could, she got dressed, and they came back to the blood center, wow. and she donated the blood. That so is so it was, cool. It's always been thrilling to work with the kids. Well, obviously, you've done an amazing job being with Michigan Blood, and they're actually holding a special blood drive March 27th for you. How do you feel about that? That's It must be so rewarding. It, it is. It's humbling. Yeah. Um, you know, I work with a tremendous staff, mm -hmm. and certainly I didn't draw all those units by myself. Right. There were many staff members that helped and very dedicated people. I, I just, it's wonderful that I'll get an opportunity to, to say goodbye and thank you to the many donors that we've dealt with. Right. Blood donors are amazing people. They're silent heroes who, mm -hmm. who reach out to somebody in the community that they will never know. Right. And it's just been an awesome it's career so to see that. It's so true. So, and then I hear they're actually donating money to one of your favorite charities. Yes, they are. Yes. And which is that? Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And um, so what are your plans? You're going to be retiring, you said, was it April 5th? April 5th, yep. What are your plans after that? Um, I have three grandchildren downstate, okay. and um, I hope to spend a lot of time with them. I have a 10-year-old grandson who has planned my summer and my oh. husband. So um, <laughs> we look forward to being with our family. Definitely. I'm sure I will always be connected to the blood program. Um, you know, I just believe in the whole aspect of donating blood and, and providing for your community. So I, I don't know, whatever comes, but I know I will be connected Definitely. somehow. Well, congratulations thank to you. you, Sharon, and thank you so much for your service. Thank you.